Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on learn-automation.com. Today we'll see how to execute your script on Firefox browser with Selenium 3. So recently Selenium 3 has launched and there's so many guys who are facing issue with Firefox browsers. So we are getting one exception called not connected exception to 127.0.0.1. There's some other issues as well like Gecko driver has to be installed and so on. So let's figure out what exactly the reason is and how we can fix all this problem. So nothing much for this video, but we'll see how to work with uh, Firefox using Selenium 3 and some tips and tricks. So uh, let me show you, I have this uh, folder called Selenium in my machine. So currently I have downloaded Selenium 3 beta 1 and beta 2. And the current version for Selenium is beta 3. So recently they have created beta 3 as well. So soon they will remove this beta version and finally they will come up with some final changes. So as of now they have this beta 3 but I have beta 2 and beta 1. Currently the version which I'm using of Firefox is Firefox 46. So let's take first combination. In the first combination what I will do. Oh, let me create a fresh project. I will take or oh, learn this is my project name uh, by default I will take 1.8 so currently I will take selenium 3 and let me take beta 2 if you want you can take beta 3 as well it will not make any change or if you want I have the previous versions as well so previous versions we will discuss as of now let's focus on the selenium 3 beta 2 as of now, I will only add one jar file, which is more than enough to start your Selenium script, which is Selenium server standalone beta 2. And that's all finish. So once you finish, you will see the same jar will add in your reference library. So as of now, we have a blank in our project. So let's create a fresh package and I will say FF or let's say Firefox scripts. There's some spelling mistakes, so let me refactor it. So let me quickly create one script and I will say my first test case. I will take public static void main. If you're working with testng or J unit, you can take that as well. So let me start with web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver. It will ask you to import Firefox. Now let me start application and I will close the browser as well. So I will open my blog here. So http colon double slash learn hyphen automation dot com and now let's run it so as of now I have not downloaded any driver so far and simply we are running our first web driver script okay so you, it says illegal state exception it says the path of the driver executable must be set by this web driver dot gecko dot driver and it gives you complete information from where you can download this Gecko driver. So you don't have to worry if you go to their download section, seleniumhq.org slash download. And if you scroll down here, you will get third party drivers not developed by Selenium HQ. If you click here, Gecko driver, it will show you the multiple releases of Gecko driver. So you can download any of this release and you can start using it. So the current version is 0 0.10.0, .0. but the version which I downloaded earlier is 0 0.9.0. .0. I have 10 as well, but this is the ninth uh, 0 0.9 which I'm using. So as this said, we have to set one property called webdriver.gecko.driver. So let's use this. So let me add system.set property. So system is a class by default, which is coming from JDK one. So I will use the set property. 
I will paste the web driver to get code driver as the set and here we need to set the driver path so I already downloaded I extracted so once you download you will get the zip file once you unzip this you will get this exe file so I will set this path so there's one shortcut in Windows if you press shift key from the keyboard and if you right click you will get this option copy as path so I will simply paste the path here so let me run this so once you run this you will get one console window and you can see it's starting on port number 54426 so this is just an info section for you it's not a warning uh, not a warning or error so don't worry it's just an info section that your firefox is getting up on this particular port number and you can see the web page is loading okay and your test completed and it's opening and closing the browser as well so this combination which i tried i tried this combination with uh, Firefox 46 and Selenium 3. Now, if you don't want to use this Gecko driver, then you can download the previous release. So, if you go to seleniumhq.org and if you click on previous releases, so you will get all the versions of Selenium which uh, currently in the market. So, they have the previous version as well, but they have given till 2.39. So, if you download 2.53, you don't have to download this Gecko driver. So if I go back and if I show you, I have Selenium 2.53 as well. So if I use this, I don't need the Gecko driver. Let me show you. So I will remove or maybe I will create a fresh project once again. And I will say this Selenium learning. This time I will add Selenium 2.53. Finish. And what I will do, I will directly copy paste this. I don't need to create same thing every time. So I will copy paste here. So same thing I got in this. But this time I don't need this Gecko driver. I will uncomment this. So if I run this code. And you can see we don't need any Gecko driver and it will start. So the conclusion is if you are working with Selenium 2, any version 2.53, 2.52, then you don't need Gecko driver. It will work. But if you are working with Selenium 3, then you need a Gecko driver. So till now, whatever combination I have tried, I have tried on Firefox 46. What if you are working with a uh, latest Firefox version. So currently, the if you see the latest uh, version in the market is okay. So if you see the Firefox latest version, so I'm using one site called filehippo.com. So here, the current version is 49, and you can see it is in the beta version. So I will not recommend you to uh, update to the beta version because it might affect the test execution. So Selenium work with the latest versions. So if you go back, you will find 48 version as well, right? So I have downloaded the 48 version as well. So if I go here and if I see this Firefox browsers, I have the set of 46 and 48. So what I will do, I will install 48 now and let's see how to work with the latest one. Since the 49 is the beta version, so I just went and downloaded 48 stable version. So once 49 becomes stable, you can use 49 as well. As of now, I downloaded 48. So again, I'm installing Firefox. Yes, so I have completed the installation of 48 version. So now if you go back and check my Firefox version. So the current version is 48 and uh, it is up, uh, giving me warning to update to 48.0.2 but let's stick to 48 
So now I have two uh, projects. So the first project, let's take one by one. So the first project uh, is uh, with Selenium 3 and this project is with 2.53. So let's see if you are working with Selenium 2 and if you are using the latest version, which is nothing but the 48 version, you can see it's 2.53. Script is same. We are not using any Gecko driver or any other driver. So if I right click and ins run this as Java application, so you will notice it will start the browser, but it will not pass the URL because Selenium 2.53 is not compatible with the newer versions or you can say uh, 48, 49 or 47. So it will start the browser as expected. And uh, this browser is started, but it will not pass the URL. It will keep waiting, it will keep waiting and after a certain time it will throw you one, 127 dot zero dot zero dot one not connected exception. So it will not pass the URL. Okay, so you can see here, uh, if you go top, unable to connect to localhost 127.0.1 uh, not connected exception. Now, let me go back to the previous project, which is Selenium Server Standard 3. So I just updated from beta 2 to beta 3 just to make sure we are not skipping any features. So better to use new version. So I updated to beta 3. And this is the previous program, same thing. We are starting with Gecko driver. Now if I run this, let's see. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just starting browser and I'm printing the title of the web page. You can see so many console messages, but skip this because this is just a warning. It is it is starting our test and it is opening my blog as well. Firefox is slow once again, so let's wait. But you can see it's uh, running our test and you will get the title in the console window. Or test completed. So you can see it is printing the title here, Selenium Web Driver Complete Selenium Web Driver Tutorials Guide Online. And this is what you can see, just a warning because we are using the beta versions or the latest versions. So if you want to hide this as well, yes, you can hide. Soon I will be showing you how you can hide all these logs. As of now, the thing which is important for us is this. It will not affect the execution, so I will highly recommend if you are working with latest browser, you can use Selenium 3, but if you are working with 46 or any lower version, you can continue with 2.53. So that's all I have for this video. So if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.